Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my review of Ryo Sumiyoshi's Our Torsos Align, uh, Human and Monster Love. This is released by Seven Seas in a larger trim size format. It's a pretty uh, relatively heavy book. Uh, they've used a nice quality paper, um, beautiful colors and cover art. Uh, there's some color pages on the inside, which I will not show you because they're kind of uh, risque. Um, this is not a very sexual collection of stories. Um, this is the same creator who does Madic or Mad K or however you pronounce it. Um, the Eroguro um, BL series that is extremely sexual and extremely gruesome and violent. Um, this is not that. This is just a short story collection of heterosexual um, stories of love between a human and a non-human, um, mostly mythical kind of creatures and whatnot. So already, if that is not your thing, then you know you're not probably going to like this. But I, I think this creator draws mythical creatures so beautifully. Um, as you can see, and it's just really, really like creates this whole world of, of, of mystique and beauty and, and, and even though this is not an overly sexual title, it's a very sensual kind of world this person creates. Um, and you can feel the, the, physical attraction and the love between the characters and it's really well done um some of the stories are funny some of them are creepy uh some of them are more slice of life sort of things some of them are really quite short while others are longer um there's a really nice mixture of emotions and humor and uh darkness amongst these titles that it just flows so nicely. Um, but yeah, this is, I would say like, cause Matic is extremely gruesome. Um, and so that's certainly not for everybody. I think that this, like if you like romance I and you like short story collections, I think this is a really good one. Um, I just found myself being like just falling in love with these characters, even though they're short little bits. Um, I really found myself just being like, I hope they're so happy together. Like some of them, some of them are not meant to be. Um, and in which case I'm like, you need to get out of there. Uh, but for the ones that are, in love um there's a really nice image there of the the one character um for the ones that are in love i'm like you guys are so cute together and just do you be your best self um but uh yeah no it's i love short story collections and i love romance and i love um beautiful artwork I'm not somebody who's so much into like mythical creatures. I'm not so much into fantasy. And so in that case, this is a bit of a stretch beyond where I like to exist in my realm of things I enjoy. But I know that I enjoyed Matic and was really interested in checking this one out. Um, and so, yeah, this, this had a lot of the really excellent kind of storytelling and setting elements um, but in a smaller scale, obviously, because Matic is a longer series that isn't just short little vignettes, but I'm trying to think, like, I've only read a little bit of, like, V-Stars, um, but I know that there is a market, ooh, the other one, Monster and the Beast, that's the other one, that, that one's also a BL title, but I really enjoy that one. Um, yeah, there's just something about the, like, kind of mythical, um, 
element when it's really well drawn and the characters are really well developed that it's just really beautiful because it's just so like it's it's just beyond what you normally see right like it's not just two people drawn like people you're you're getting to see this like really beautifully illustrated creature and you're like if this really beautiful creature was in front of me would i be sexually attracted to it no but personally i think you would be like awestruck by its beauty and so in this fantasy existence where this person sees this really beautiful creature and and they're so sweet to them and whatever you're like okay yeah whatever i see i see where you're coming from here um but uh it's certainly something to pick up uh if any of this sounds at all interesting to you but it it was very funny there were quite a few particularly these two um characters making me laugh and then there was a couple stories that were on the darker side and one in particular that i was like huh that was interesting um and very creepy and not, not at all where I thought that was going. Um, but yeah, it's a nice mixture. And it's certainly something to tide you over if you, like myself, are waiting for the next volume of Matic. Uh, and uh, really want to consume this creator's work. Uh, certainly pick this one up if you haven't already. But yeah, if you've read it, love to hear your thoughts on it. If you have any recommendations of things that are similar, would love to see them in the comments. Thank you for watching.